This year's Google I.O. was a spectacular event and day one was over yesterday. Google made some huge announcements regarding the services it's gonna provide such as the GCM, the multiplayer gaming enhancements, cloud storage server enhancements and much more. Of all the announcements, one thing grabbed everybody's attention which was the unveiling of the Google's own edition of the Samsung Galaxy S4. The Galaxy S4 has been running on pretty good in the market, selling more than 6 million units. So this is, device has already been declared ahead by Samsung and to celebrate its success, Samsung is already giving out freebies and giveaways. So this Google's own edition of Samsung Galaxy S4, this announcement has made it more even bigger. So if you are a pure stock Android lover and if you are not satisfied with TouchWiz, so you can go for this. Well, talking about the Samsung Galaxy S4, there is not going to be any changes in the hardware. So you will still be experiencing that same old good old plastic casing of Samsung. But there are some few changes in the software. And number one, as we all know, it is pure stock Android. So no touch with, no more touch with. There might be also a few changes in the software, such as some add-on features, such as the photosphere being included in the camera. So we are not well aware of what change is going to be in terms of software, but we can expect a few. And the Galaxy S4 has been the, declared the first mobile device to get a TCO certification. So it has been stated as the first mobile device to be manufactured without any hazardous materials such as uh, nickel, beryllium, mercury, and you know, all that. So the TCO approval of this device has made it a much more bigger success. And uh, all these things have made this Galaxy S4 a mega hit phone in, in the market present right now. So this Google edition of Samsung Galaxy S4 has raised new questions among people's minds. So it also made me, you know, like, you know, some few questions in my mind also, which I'm going to be talking to you right now. First things first, this is a Google product. So all those software updates will be managed by Google. So there's no more Samsung update and you don't have to wait for Samsung to make all those updates. If that is any Android update, you get it directly through Google. And I have seen many people uh, writing in blogs and Facebook pages that they were not satisfied with TouchWiz. So, but they are satisfied with the presence of GS4, the looks and features of it, but they are not with the uh, satisfied with the UI, uh, which is TouchWiz. So if you are not that much of TouchWiz lover, but if you are still a GS4 lover, you can go for this device. The Galaxy S4 has been doing pretty good in the market and its equally potential rival is the ultra pixel powered HTC One. Now questions may arise that will that be a stock Android version of the HTC One? But HTC has confirmed that there is not going to be a stock Android version of the HTC One so users and buyers will still experience a sense by user interface. There won't be any hardware changes where as I said earlier there might be few software updates or software changes in this new GS4. Well, Talking about the questions, and one number one question was that what will be the status of the future releases of Samsung? What will be the status of TouchWiz? If this device rolls out pretty good, what will be the future plans of Samsung? And the number two was what will be the status of the Nexus devices? So Google has been manufacturing and giving out uh, pro its own products under the Nexus brand. So we have the Nexus 4, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the Nexus 7 and Nexus 10 tablets. The Nexus 4 was launched in 2012 and it made pretty good in the market. And there's a huge fan base for the Nexus line of devices around the world. And Hugo, he just made a statement that there will be a Nexus experience in this Galaxy S4. So he was so confident and he, he made the statement that there, there will be a Nexus experience. So GS4 is pretty good in terms of uh, specifications, benchmarks and everything. And coupled with the stock Android version and the, this will be a 
a ultimate nexus phone. This might be an ultimate nexus phone, so it could be a super nexus phone. So, what will be the status of the nexus devices? Will Google continue to manufacture these nexus devices, or or it collaborate with uh, devices such as the Galaxy S4? Uh, can we see a future HTC device powered by stock Android? Can we see a future Sony Xperia device powered by stock Android? So all these questions, you know, it just came up in my mind. What would be what? Why Samsung Galaxy S4? First of all, why suddenly? Because GS4 has been already doing pretty good in the market right now, and. Why? Why did Samsung and uh, Google made this step? Uh, can, uh, I don't know. All these questions will be answered depending on the sales of GS4, I guess. The Galaxy S4 will be available from June 26th onwards and it can be ordered through Google Play like the other Nexus devices. It is priced at $649 and as Hugo said it will be a huge Nexus user experience and it will be available for T-Mobile, AT&T and it has an LTE support with 16 gigs of RAM and all those software updates and system updates you can get through Google. That's all about the Google edition of Samsung Galaxy S4. So in the future we might expect some non-Nexus devices being released by Google. So there are people who love TouchWiz and there are people who hate TouchWiz. So if you are not satisfied with TouchWiz and still want the pure Android experience on your Galaxy S4, so you can spend those $649 on this device. Or if you are satisfied with the current version, you can go for it. So either way, Samsung Galaxy S4 is a pretty cool device. And there will be a huge difference in terms of user experience between the TouchWiz enabled Galaxy S4 and the stock Android powered Galaxy S4. So all our questions will be answered depending on how well this Galaxy S4 does in the market. So that's all about the Google edition of Samsung Galaxy S4. If you like the video, give a like, give a thumbs up, feel free to plus one. If you want to watch my other videos, I'll put a link below the like button, you can click here to watch it. So, I'll talk to you soon in the next video. So, other than it's Saish for signing off. Have a nice day.